Hi everybody, this is Super Ellie San, and this is going to be my first ever LP. And I'm going to do a let's play of Puella Magi Greek Syndrome. The name of the game is actually longer, but I do not like how long the name of the game is. And besides, it's a Japanese game, as if you couldn't already tell. Or maybe you couldn't, because there's also a bunch of English in it. But, um... You know, that's because of translators and stuff. Okay, well, I'm going to leave a link in the description to where you can download the game and also a link to where you can watch the anime series. And so, yeah, if you want to play along, you can do that and other stuff like that. And please do not send me any hate comments about my LP because, as I've already said, this is my first LP ever and my first YouTube video ever. So, you know, I'm new at this. So, as you can see, there's a start game, but underneath here, there's start from first lap and then start from second lap. And in the corner, the left bottom corner, bottom left corner, uh, there is a high score, best time, and max hits. And then a final lap meter down there. I tried to erase that so that I can just start from scratch, but... Um, apparently it won't let me, so it's just gonna have to stick right there, and you're just going to have to bear with it. So, I'm going to start from the first lap, and this is only going to be a tutorial video, so, um, I'm not actually going to start any of the levels yet, and, yeah. And sorry if I've been rambling, so let's begin. This first level, the level name I'm not quite sure, but I'm just going to call every level by the name of the boss that is in it. So this level is Gertrude. Gertrude is the boss, and um, there's actually a picture of Gertrude on the picture, and it says stage select down at the bottom. And the background, uh, if you watch the anime, it'll actually mean something. And then down here is the return to tile screen. And so I'm going to begin. But quick warning about this game. It may save your laps and your high scores, but it does not save your gameplay. If you play a level and you get to level 2 and then you close out the window or return to the tile screen, it will set you back to level 1. And all your character's levels will be reset. Even if you're at the final boss, you have to go all the way back to level 1 if you don't defeat her. And so these are your characters. I'm going to be showing you what each character's moves are and the controls. And also, I'm going to be telling you their names right now. And explain what their weapon is when I play at them. So I'm going to be going from this side to this side. And first off, I am going to show you... Homura. Homura is the only all-around character, and she is the, well, actually spoiler, so I'm not going to tell you. So I'm going to be showing her first, and I'm not actually going to be getting into the level. I'm just going to show you the controls and what her moves are in response to those controls. Homura Akime starts off with a low soul limit, but it's not that bad. And she starts off at level 1. Now, if you press the Z button, this is your normal attack. And... Pride... Stupid controls. It sometimes locks up if I don't click on the screen. If you press the Z button, she fires a pistol. If you're moving, it just does the same thing. Sometimes when you're moving, your special... Your normal attack will change, but not with her. Now, her Z... Her... Not Z button attack. That's close to... That's her normal attack. Jeez. Again, first time, sorry. Uh, the X button is her special attack, which, if you're standing still, she pulls out a machine gun. And if you're moving, she fires a bazooka. And then she also has an upwards special attack, which, when you press up on the keypad, she does that. And then when you press down, she'll throw grenades. And you press C to jump. You can also double jump. And when you press A, a character will use their special move, which uses up some of their health bar at the bottom. Now, your health bar, you should not worry about 
at all. It's your soul limit that you need to worry about. Because if you hit zero on soul limit, it doesn't matter where you are on your health bar, you are automatically dead. Your health bar, if it gets down to zero, which is the green bar down there, if it gets to the end, if you still have soul limit enough for it, it will just revive you. And you can also use this bar to do special attacks. You press the A button to use a special attack, which Homura's special attack is that she freezes time. And when she freezes time, you can do stuff like that. You can fire bazookas, and then you can just annihilate an enemy. Now, you see the blue down at the bottom? If your health bar is blue and it starts loading up, it doesn't feed on your soul limit. But if you get hit while it's still blue, it will turn red, and that will feed on your soul limit. Now, the damage you take doesn't really quite matter that much. Here, let me show you. See, look. If you take damage, the damage you take doesn't add up to the soul limit that it takes off of you. And if you do this, and then have an enemy attack you, then your blue will go away and you have to pay. And then here are a bunch of different enemies. Now you can do that and just blow away on them. And every so often you'll get a level up, which raises your soul limit. And also it will... Uh, raise your attack power and such. Here, let me show you. See, look, now she's level 2. Now, your levels will carry over to other stages, I'm going to call them, and such, so you're good there. But it won't carry over to each character, so you got to be careful about that. Now, the upward attack, you can do something like that and just totally knock them away. And now... Excuse me for the cut, but I don't think this is going to fit on the time limit unless I do, so... Oh, and quickly, you can ex press Escape or Q to go into the pause menu. Erase the menu so far has done nothing. The trophies, I have no clue what they're saying. If you can translate them for me, that'd be great. Um, and if someone's completed this game before, tips would be nice about any hidden moves that I missed or if any other buttons do anything. Return to the tile means return to the tile screen, and restart the game doesn't actually restart the game. If you press restart the game, which the select button is the Z button, you just go back to the game. You can also press escape to do that. And so, I'll meet you guys with my next character. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. And now our next character is going to be a close range character. Her name is... And please correct me if I'm getting this wrong, but it's... I believe it's Kairo Kairuko. I'll find out in a minute. Um, and she's a close range attacker, and she uses a spear, which can also snap apart to become a bit more long range. Now, she has the most HP of the close range attackers, but her attack can be easily intercepted. But if you're a first time player, I recommend her if you want to go with a close range attacker. And so, I'll show you her move. The loading in this game is awful, and that little cat down in the bottom right corner, his name is QB, and he is a dick. He's an absolute dick. You won't hear me cussing much, but, actually you won't hear me cussing at all, but I will use some explicit words. Just, not cuss words. Now, her regular attack, she just points forward like that, but if you're moving, well, she actually doesn't do much else. <laughs> but she will do that if you do a combo. And then her X button attack, when standing still, she does that, and you can charge it up like any other attack. And then her moving attack, she does a sort of spin attack. Her upwards is that which is really powerful, and then downwards, she does that. And then, for her special attack, which is kind of useless, she creates a barrier that does one damage for each enemy that steps into one of the triangles. But, again, it's relatively useless. Her double jump... Well, the double jump height doesn't change between characters, as far as I know. And it's Kyoku Sakura. My bad. 
again, her soul limit is higher than Homura's. But she's also clones ranged attacker, which means that she might get hit more. And she has the highest of the close range attackers, but she doesn't have the highest in the game. And my controls just locked up again. I seriously hate that. And yeah, so that's Kayoku in a nutshell. She's good against most bosses, as all close range attackers are. Good against bosses. And I personally find close range attackers better than long range attackers. Because enemies tend to come from all sides. So, that is Kyoku Sakura. And I will meet you with our next person. Now, I'm going to skip over the middle person, and I'll explain why in a minute. Okay. See you then. Okay, skipping over her, I'll get to her in a sec. This is Mommy. Mommy, this game is challenging, but she is the worst character out of all of them. She's a long-range attacker, and she doesn't have the HP to back it up. Because long-range attackers will usually get hit more than close-range attackers, because enemies come from all sides, so it's hard to defend yourself when you can only point in one direction or another, and are totally vulnerable when doing your attack. She has the lowest HP out of everyone, and her attacks don't even do that much damage. Unless you've aced the game five times with every other character, I wouldn't recommend playing with her. She's a horrible character to do a first playthrough of, a horrible character to, to do a tenth playthrough of. She, she's just bad. Again, loading. Hate it. I'm probably going to cut out some of it. Actually, most of it when I actually start doing the LP. Her name is Mami Tomoi, and the controls locked up again. Freaking hate that. See, look, she has a really low soul limit. She has a higher one than Homura, but her attacks aren't that good. Her s normal attack, she does that, and you can also do combos like that. Her special attack, if you're standing still, she'll bring out a bunch of pistols and she'll shoot them all off. If you're moving, She'll do a twirl and then shoot. And then her double jump is apparently higher looking than Kaioku, but I can't tell. And then her upwards special attack, she brings out giant cannons, like firework cannons. And then her downwards one, she has this ribbon that she slashes. And her special attack is one of the most powerful, but also the hardest to use. Because she does something like that, but, yeah, this is revive in action. You become a little speck and you can run away from danger. But, it's also a hard, her special attack is the hardest to use because it only takes up half the screen. So if you're over here, if you're at the edge of the screen when you use it, it won't hit anything. And it uses up almost her entire health bar. But it does the most damage out of all of the special attacks. And so, yeah. That's Mommy Tomoi. See, look. Takes up pretty much half the screen and leaves her really, really vulnerable. And, again, do not recommend her at all. Don't recommend long-range attackers in general, but really don't recommend her. Okay, on to the next character.